and then obviously it was a big stage. You knew it was going to be that way. Mm -hmm. A crazy week. What does it feel like to come through like you did in the, in the spotlight on you in the program like it was today? I really didn't feel um, you know any spotlight or any stage. Uh, it's us out there playing football like we do every day. So you know another day in the office, and uh, the outcome was how we wanted it to be. And then, could you take us through that run in the third quarter? It was that 44-yard run where it seemed like a combination of your athleticism and instinct. It was at one point you were kind of directing traffic and sent Princeton mm -hmm. into a, a block. I mean, how much fun is that? And, and is that kind of when you're at your best as far as using all your skill set? Yeah, you know, it's a great time just to be out there and competing at a high level. Uh, you know, with my brothers, uh, P made a, a great instinctive play. Um, you know, by just picking up color, and he saw a guy uh, from the opposing team and. Uh, got a body on him and, and freed me up for a nice run. Mike? Yeah, and then that drive right before halftime, uh, two plays in that one, Ramel's catch, what did you see on that play? And then two, you had a run late in that where you seemed pretty fired up right at the end of it. Mm -hmm. What was just kind of that sequence like for you? Yeah, I got one-on-one -on -one, um, to mail on the outside, and the safety kind of rotated uh, to the boundary. So, you know, I was taking advantage of, of that matchup, and Mel made a great play, a great catch on that uh, salute to him. Um, and then, like on the run, just you know, just uh, showing my enthusiasm for um, you know the success for the team. David, Evan. Uh, and why were you able to be so effective and efficient today without Cedric on the field? Mm -hmm. Like I said, uh, you know, prior weeks, uh, these guys put in a lot of work. The receivers put in a lot of work. The tight ends, the running backs, and the offensive line. So I mean, one guy doesn't stop the show. Um, they they all have great things to bring to the table, and they compete at a high level. When they play with a chip on their shoulder. And, um, you know, we have something to prove, and we want to prove that every night out. Austin, and then Jimmy, and then Adam. Brew, what's this experience been like for you? It's the first time we've <coughs> talked to you. Um, getting here, getting eligible, making plays at Pittsburgh, and obviously tonight. Um, but when you kind of went on the ball walk and walked out into the stadium, I know that's different from playing out west. So, like, how, 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 how surreal is some of that? Uh, extremely. Um, it's a lot different than, than where I came from. And, I've just done my best to, to ride the roller coaster the best way I can and, and lock in for the team and, and do what I can. Um, I came here to do a job and help this team win, and, and that's what I've been trying to do. Jimmy and then Adam. Brew with Cedric Tillman out, did you feel a sense that, hey, this is my time to step up. I really need to come through for this team. Um, to an extent, yes, but at the same time, you know, we work really hard every day to, to come and do a job and um, try not to think too much about who's on the field other than accomplishing what you came to do. And Jeanette, we could tell you were wincing a little bit, some kind of injury early in the game. What was your mm -hmm. pain level, and why didn't you come out of the game? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's ups and downs and aches and pains throughout the game of football. It's a physical game. Um, you know, persevering through that is something I pride myself in, uh, you know, just being a warrior and, and competing for my brothers. Did that change how you played? Oh, it? no, no, not at all. Why not? It's part of the game, like I just said. You know, um, you're gonna get hit hard. You're gonna be banged up. Uh, if you can go, you can go. If you can't, you can't. So Ben, what was the mindset of the receivers all throughout this week coming into the game, knowing that Cedric was probably gonna be able to play? Uh, like I said before, I mean, you know, every day we go out on the practice field and put in work to to get a job done. Um, you don't really think about anything more than the scheme. <coughs> executing, doing what you need to do. Um, we knew that there was a lot that was going to fall on those who, who had to step up, me being one of them, but um, nothing really changed as far as the mindset. We, we stayed focused, locked in on what we need to accomplish. Mike? Yeah. And did snapping a streak like that, that, that Tennessee had had against Florida, it, that raised the ceiling anymore as far as taking a weight off the shoulders, confidence moving forward with other big games they had against programs like Alabama and Georgia? Um, you know, we, we still have the same mission, and that's getting to Atlanta. So um, just staying the course and, and coming in every day and getting better um, is our goal, and just being accountable and, and sticking together as a team. All right, we'll go to Patrick. Brew, uh, like I said, it's the first time we've talked to you. You obviously had the wait about if you're going to be cleared or not. Yeah. Coach Hopper talked about the moment where you got the call. Just can you kind of go back to that, and what was that moment like to know that you get a chance to, to play and, and get to do what you were to do? Um, I mean, prior to it, I was really anxious, just waiting to find out. You know, I came a long way, and um, finally getting to, to know. More so, I was just happy to be able to give something to the team, um, provide something, and you know, not just be a, a body that came in and there was all this media behind it. And now I actually got the opportunity to come out and play and do something for the team. And so it was just a big weight lifted off my shoulders and my family's shoulders. And um, I was just extremely excited. You know, given your career journey, how 
anxious were you to kind of think about what's on the field and, and, and your play? Um, you know, about as anxious as it can be, but at the same time, you know, I've grown older and matured a lot and, and learned, and, you know, I was just happy for the opportunity. So, Brenton and Chris? Hey, guys, for both you guys, you, you both played the big games, whether it's here or other places. Coach Heifel made it very clear this week, enjoy the moment. How beneficial was it for that for you guys to get that message early in the week and, and kind of not let any of the outside stuff weigh on you at all? Mm -hmm. Um, Really, we were already preaching that inside the locker room. You know, it's about us. It's not about the glitz and glamour uh, outside this locker room. And, and everyone approached it as that. Um, everyone came in and, and stayed to the regular schedule. Um, everyone came in and got extra work per usual. So, I mean, nothing's really surprising us. Nothing's really catching our eye that's different. We're just coming in and doing our job. Chris. Hey, none of you guys were around for all those losses over the last two days. These guys, but these fans were yeah, that's a that's a wonderful feeling. You know, we do it for them. We we come out here um, and prepare and, and play as hard as we can to put on a show for them. Uh, you know, they they express their feelings, whether good or bad, and, and that's their job. They're they're the fans. Uh, you know, we we appreciate all their love and support, and we're going to continue to work hard and, and put on a show. And then with Florida scoring as much as they were, how important was it for you guys to be as efficient as you were offensively, and I guess maybe specifically that 14-point swing scoring right before half and right after half? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, every drive out, we're, we're trying to put six on the board, um, and that's what we accomplished tonight, and that's what we plan to do uh, continuing down the road. Like, Hinden, whenever you signed with Tennessee, was, you know, with a different coaching staff, when did it hit you sink in that Josh Heifel's offense would be something – you would enjoy and, and maybe flourish in. Yeah, from day one. Um, I remember talking to Coach Hypo uh, in my recruiting process when I was in high school, but I just never got a chance to really go out there to Missouri and take a visit and, you know, kind of see what that community was like. But, um, you know, his office is, is amazing. I remember when he was at UCF, I used to watch their games on ESPN, um, you know, whenever I could. So, um, you know, I was a big fan. Once, once, he, once I learned that he was coming here, to be our head coach, and I was very excited. I guess time for a few more guys. We'll go Vince, and we'll go Karthik after that. Brew, uh, Cedric Tillman had mentioned how close you guys were, even though you hadn't been on campus very long. Why did you have that? Do you have that connection so quickly with Cedric Tillman? I mean, I think we both come from the West Coast, so that's a little bit, you know, we can kind of relate there. Probably one or three or two or three guys from the West Coast on this team. And, uh, we played each other in high school, so we kind of had a pre existing relationship. And then getting here, just kind of me and him connected when I first got here, and he really helped me come in along with Hendon, and you know brought me in as a part of this team. So we we kept building a relationship, and we knew we had we had something special, you know. Perfect. Uh, obviously, you all were really animated on the field in celebration of winning this game. Can you take us a little look into you know what the locker room celebration was like and how fun it is to win games like this? Um, yeah, uh, there's no better feeling. I think everybody felt you know let out a big sigh of relief after the end of the game. Uh, you celebrate, you see the fans, just how happy they are. Everybody in the locker room, the coaches, the staff, we all just kind of soaked in the moment, enjoyed it the best we could. And, um, you know, right now is the time to just be in the moment. You know, next week we'll, we'll be forward facing, but right now we get to enjoy it. And, um, yeah, there's no better feeling, you know, celebrating with the guys you put in work with every day. Mm -hmm. And then when uh, Kamal got that interception at the end of the game, ended. Uh, was the initial reaction more relief, excitement, or a little bit of both? Um, I don't know, honestly. Uh, it was kind of just a, you know, I'm, I'm glad we got the, the dub. That's what we came to do. So, um, you know, as long as we got the, the dub in the in the win column, um, I'm happy. So, um, you know, I'm happy Mom made a great play. I'm happy the, the defensive line, you know, got the pressure on the quarterback, and um, we got the win. And then Coach Hamill talked about your, your trust in the man. When he makes that diving catch, y'all go so fast. Did you have any kind of time to look at this to see how much he actually laid out for that thing? I mean, I saw it real time. Um, like I say every week, you know, these guys put in ample amount of work uh, throughout the week. I remember on Thursday I was coming from dinner and I saw a couple receivers out there catching the jugs. Um, you know, they're constantly in the film room and, and constantly um, eager to get better. So. And when I say I, put, I have trust in all my receivers, I really have trust in all my receivers because they make plays on a daily basis. This is nothing new. We've seen Romel make these plays all the time. Um, so, you know, I have full trust in everyone that's out there with me, and I love getting them the ball.
Wesley's the last one. Well, when you thought you were going to you know, come play here and you wanted to be a part of this, and you thought about maybe what games would be like here, the environment, everything, the noise, is this kind of what you pictured it would be, or did you have any concept of just kind of how nuts it would be? And no, I, I didn't really know what I was uh, getting myself into in the best way ever. Um, couldn't picture it, couldn't, couldn't fathom it. The sound, the crowd, everything, it's, it's an unbelievable experience. It's surreal. Um, I made the best decision I've made coming here. And thank you guys. Appreciate it.